Hello, gang. Grab your Bible, your notebook, and your pen and get ready, all right? Hebrews chapter 11. Hope you remember that by now. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1 through 3 is what we're going to read right now. It says, Now faith is the substance, it's solid, of things hoped for, heaven, and the evidence, that's the proof, of things not seen. For by it, the elders, the people in the Old Testament, obtained a good report from God. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Okay, verse 3 is where we're going to land. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Let's talk about that for just a little bit, okay? Everything, everything that exists is what it's talking about here. It says, um, by faith, we understand that the world, okay? Now, we're not just talking about our globe. We're talking about the, the sky, the atmosphere, the heavens above us. Um, you, you've gotten to experience that firsthand with your daddy, taking you out with a telescope at night, and you see all. Oh, those stars everything was made and we accept that by faith through faith we understand that the worlds were made okay that the everything that exists everything that we can see and is visible and it's invisible all the things in the sky that we just know are there we know through faith all right it says um, through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed. Now, what in the world does that mean? Now, for a builder, this is really easy. When you put together a house, you frame it in, okay? You have the out, the, um, the um, foundation, you dig that, and you pour the foundation, and then you put up the walls. You put up the studs, that, and that is called framing it in. The word framed here means to assemble to put together, to, um, let me see, to arrange is another way of putting it, to arrange something. So think about this. All of the things, um, it says by, through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed, okay? We understand that the worlds came together by things that now exist, okay? Because God spoke it and they exist and all the worlds were put together. All the things that we see, just by just by God speaking it, it was all put together. Now think about that, okay? Um, this is so much greater than building a house or, um, say, baking a cake. You have all those ingredients, the flour, the sugar, the margarine, whatever you're going to put in it, the vanilla. Um, you have all the ingredients. Now, you didn't go out to the field and plant the wheat, the seed, and plant it and grow it and, and make the flower. But even if you did, it, you still didn't create the seed that made the plant that made the flower. But we put it all together. And that's what God did when he made the worlds, when he made everything that we have around us. But it, it is, it, it, that's what this is saying. By faith, through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Now, what does it mean by the word of God? This is what we want to explore today. God created everything out of nothing. It blows my mind. I don't understand it, but by faith I accept it. Now, when we put together that cake or that building, we put it together with things that already exist. Those things weren't there when God created it all. But think about this. He not only made the huge expanse of the stars and the skies and he hung the earth at just the right orbit so that we wouldn't burn up too close to the sun or wouldn't freeze too far away from the sun. And he did it just by speaking. I mean, just, he just put it out there out of nothing. Does that show you how powerful our God is? I want you to see this though, okay? So we're going to turn to Hebrews chapter 1. Turn in your Bibles there. Hebrews chapter 1. And let's see. Um, let me find my verses. 
Mm -hmm. Let me find my Hebrews chapter 1 verses 1 and 2. It says, God who at sundry times at different times and in diverse manners in different ways spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Those are the elders, okay? Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, here it comes, by whom also he made the worlds. God, the three in one, made the worlds. Okay, here's another one. Let's turn in our Bible to John chapter one. Okay, so Matthew, Mark, Luke, John chapter one. You probably know this one by heart. John chapter one, verses one through three. It says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Jesus was there in the beginning when God spoke it. He's part of the Godhead. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. Which means God made everything out of nothing. Kind of amazing, huh? Okay, let's go back to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. It says, through faith... We understand that the worlds were framed. He arranged it. He put it all together. He assembled it by the word of God. So who made the worlds? God, Jesus, the whole three in one was there at the beginning when it all came to happen. And we believe that through faith. Um, we, mean, we need to make sure that we understand this and that we believe this because this is foundational, especially nowadays. In, it, you're, you're constantly being bombarded with evolution or the Big Bang Theory. Um, and I know you guys have heard all about this through at school, about how the, the world didn't just come into existence by a, a god who who's up there taking control of it. No, no, no. Little atoms came together and they squished together and they became bigger and they became bigger and all of a sudden, boom, there's the world. Can you imagine that? We are so marvelously made. I mean, even down to the little eyelashes that we have, God made them. And he put them there for a reason. It's to collect the dust and keep the dust out of our eyes and help us to see better. God planned it. It wasn't just a big boom and it happened. We believe that by faith. We trust in the amazing almighty God. God did, he, he, he did create it from, every, from, from nothing. He created everything. I want you to look at one other passage of scriptures. I want you to go to the very beginning of the Bible. That's where it all started, okay? Very beginning of the Bible. Genesis chapter 1. I want you to th see three different verses, and it tells us how God did it, all right? He, he, he wasn't out there, you know, with his hammer and his... his square and it's plain and no 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 this is how god did it let's look genesis chapter 1 verse 3 it says and i'm hoping you can still see me because my battery's running low it says and god said let there be light and there was light he said it verse 6 and god said let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and it divided the waters from the waters. God made it by saying it. Verse 9, and God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and, the land, the, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. So how did God do it? How did he create it all? He spoke it. He spoke it. As easy as that. That's how easy it was for God. We have a hard enough time putting a cake together from all the ingredients that we have already made. God had nothing, and he spoke it, and it was there. And we accept it by faith. I hope you loved that. He, he's so wonderful. He has all the power in the world, and he has the power to take care of you, too. So, the question? Hmm. I hope you were listening. I love you. Hope you're having a great day. We'll see you later on.